Hello FM brothers and sisters, welcome to FM 2021. In this video we are going to check what is going to happen if non-league club had perfect training facilities. For this FM experiment I choose Chester and I use my in-game editor and as you see training facilities 20, youth facilities 20, junior coaching 20, youth recruitment 20 and corporate facilities are 20, the maximum possible. Chester has really poor stadium capacity around 5000. Uh, their finances are also terrible. Trans budget zero wage budget around uh, nine thousand it's semi-professional club general uh, we see that the maximum club attendance is around eight thousand now let's check their best players so the best player at Chester right now is George Glander with the current ability 81 this is okay for uh, Vanarama National League we see that he is really perfect player for this league uh, Dan 78 Joe Taylor 24 years old full back and Louis Gray goalkeeper Okay, but we don't have any young players with a really high potential. Is this going to improve? That's for sure, because now Chester has perfect training facilities. Okay, uh, now let's see on the rating squad, maybe there are some young interesting players, but no, I don't see some interesting players. Uh, the, but the best player with the potential ability, 58 only. Okay, now let's go year by year and let's see what is going to happen. So we are in the year 2021 and we see that Chester didn't get promoted, 5th place 62 points, but now let's see their players, uh, we see some incredible kids, wow this is great, Grand Strong goalkeeper, only 16 years old, I already wanted by many clubs, gonna be really hard to keep him at Chester, uh, we see his potential is 156, then we have James Reynolds, striker, potential ability 138, this is really awesome. And Nathan Jones, uh, DM or central defender, potential ability 134, that's really great. Okay, so we see that already they already produce some incredible young players. And under 18 OE, oh, we, have, uh, we have there also one incredible kid, that's Kai Johnson. He's 16 years old, the striker with the potential ability 140. Okay, now let's go to the next year. We are in the year 2022 and again Chester failed to get promoted only 10th place with 66 points. This is really bad. And we can see one terrible thing. Chester lost their best wonder kids like Grant Strong, this incredible goalkeeper. Uh, they sold him to Birmingham for only 1000 and as you remember his potential ability was 156. Yeah. Also we see that Kai Johnson, uh, he, they lost Kai Johnson. He joined for free to Alfredton. Okay. And they signed one player, that George Sanders, for 7,000. This is still nothing. Now let's check uh, their best players right now. Uh, the best player with the current ability 88 is now a very young player. That's uh, Louis Payne. He came from Southampton for free. Okay, then we have one Serbian player, DM. That's Goran Babic. Also came uh, for free from Southampton. Uh, still have some great young players like James Reynolds. Uh, we are happy to see him, uh, that he stays at Chester. They didn't sell him, that's a great thing because he's growing, he's going to be a really fantastic striker. We're in the 2023 and we still see that Chester didn't get promoted again. This time great season, second place with the 86 points, but this was not enough. Training facilities are going down, they are now 19, but still this is great. Uh, the great thing is that finances are much better. Transfer budget now is 347,000. This is really wow for Wanarama National League. Wage budget also 18,000. It's much, much better. Good thing is that the squad is improving. I mean, we see many players with a current ability more than 80. And the best player is now Calvary. 16 years old DM. Really fantastic. Plus nice potential, 136. Then we have Alex Anderson, 21 is old central defender, current ability 90. Uh, Martha Taylor, uh, nice striker. Okay, but let's see, do we have some young players still? Still James Reynolds is still there. That's a nice thing. I really like this striker. I hope they're going to keep him at Chester. Uh, his potential is 138 and he's growing, yeah. Okay, uh, now let's see B under 18 squad. Do we have some interesting kids there? And yes, we have. Check this. Uh, that's Granger, uh, Matthew Granger with a potential ability 141. Also, Matt Hudson, great potential 137. We see many kids with a really nice potential, but the biggest problem is uh, to keep them at Chester. Okay, now let's check the transfers. 
In this season also Chester lost a couple of really young players for free, that's the biggest problem. And they signed Sony for 14,000, let's check him, that's 22 years old, attack Mithr, and he came from Dover, okay. Now let's go to the 2024. We are in the 2024 and finally Chester is promoted, great season, 105 points, points. only 5 losers. And top goal scorer was Martel Taylor with a 14 goals, then David Dajiboe, 25 years old winger, 12 goals, 4 assists, then Sonny scored a new face, he scored 11 goals, uh, then 10 and goals and 10 assists for uh, Calvary. and we see James Reynolds is still there, I really like this kid, I hope he's going to stay at Chester, uh, we see that he scored 9 goals and he had 9 assists. And he's wanted by Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, this is really a problem for Chester to keep him there. Also, under 18 squad, he has so many incredible wonder kids, some new faces. 16 is old, Tim Randall, potential ability 161. This is awesome. Then Roland's uh, DM with the potential ability 159. Uh, Matthew is still there, that's a good thing. Uh, and a couple of other really interesting kids, at least for Chester, they can be really awesome. In this year, Chester sold Louis Payne to Blackpool for 30,000 and Alex Anderson to Gillingham for 23,000. Uh, they both only one expansive player. Actually, this is nothing to around 2,000 from Mansfield. Uh, that's Cameron uh, Mac Williams. He is nothing special. We are in the 2025. Chester is finally playing one Rama National League and they are third place in their first season. Not bad, 79 points. This was really unlucky. Only one point behind Accrington. And now let's check Chester uh, training facilities right now. Uh, we see that finances are getting better and better. Transfer budget almost 1 million, wage budget 43,000. But facilities are going down. Training facilities 18, youth facilities are, are 19. So that's, that's fine. I mean, uh, we all expected that. But good thing is that Chester has better and better players. Now the best player is Jaden Osborne with a current ability 112. He's on loan from Middlesbrough. Uh, then we have Don Warnock, 18 years old, uh, left back, potential ability 126, current ability 109. Also Taylor, uh, he's not bad central defender. And check this. Wow, what a wonder kid, Scottish wonder kid, current ability 95, potential ability almost like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, 171, that's Jamie Swanson, wow, and I hope that he's going to stay at Chester because he's incredible potential, I hope they won't sell him, also we see that Matthew is still there uh, with the potential ability 141, also very interesting player, now let's see under 18 squad, even there we have some incredible players like Tim Randall, potential ability 161, uh, then Rollins, potential ability 159, David Morris, also 51, that's great, so, so many incredible players, uh, but there is one problem guys, yeah, and we are going to check that, the biggest problem is that they sold uh, the most important player, uh, the player I like really, that's James Reynolds, they sold him to Cardiff, oh wow, this is big mistake, check this, they sold him for only 73,000, can be, potential cost can be 325,000, but this is still nothing for this incredible striker, he's uh, 19 years old right now, I was really hoping that Chester is going to keep him, but now they sold him also, uh, they sold a couple of other players like uh, Kalule, their best player also, what incredible DM, and they sold him to Leeds for uh, 145,000. Also, Emmanuel Abassi, they sold him for uh, 130,000 to Reading. Now, let's see, did they buy someone expensive? No, no, only Alex Danny from Salford. 8,000, this is really nothing, 25 years old. DM and a couple of players on loan. Uh, they loaned uh, some interesting players from some uh, better teams. Okay guys, so this was my little experiment, what is going to happen if uh, an only club had perfect training facilities. If you want to see second part, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you and bye bye.